Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So it's been about six months now since I finished the D-Bot. Um, I think it's about time we had a look at some updates and upgrades that we can do over the coming months. I'm Jay and this is my 3D adventure. So yeah, six months since uh, I finished the D-Bot. That's gone quite quickly. Um, but in that time I've been incredibly happy with it, it's performed flawlessly and I really am impressed with the quality that I'm getting out of it. Um, but that doesn't mean that I'm not wanting to do some upgrades. So at the moment the X and Y axis are um, mini V-slot wheels uh, and personally I've found that the wheels are starting to slightly degrade. Um, and obviously I know there are like the extreme versions of those wheels, but uh, I've decided to completely take those off and go for linear rails. So I contacted a company uh, on AliExpress called CNA Mechanical Parts Store, um, and they were very kind to work with me and send me some linear rails. So they've sent me the linear rails to do the Y-axis so these are 390 mil long with MGN 12H linear rails, uh, carriages, sorry. Um, so these two, I've got two of these, so these will do the Y axis of our D-Bot. And then at a later date, when I do the, y, uh, the X axis, because I've got to change some other parts as well, um, I'll purchase the linear rail from them as a sort of thank you for working with me. So basically, um, this upgrade replaces the, how many is there, so there's eight wheels that are currently riding along the V-slot, um, and what these two linear rails will do, will bolt onto the bottom of the 2040 extrusion, um, and then with a new 3D printed part at the ends, um, clamp everything together. So I'm in the process of printing those parts at the moment. Um, there's a link in the description to the model I'm using on Thingiverse. Um, the reason I've used a model off Thingiverse is because I can't really model for, for Toffee. So rather than me attempt to do something that potentially will not work, I've decided to use someone else's model. Um, and what I'll do is I'll do a separate video or the next video in this sort of mini series will be looking at the printed parts and how everything fits together. So I will give you the name and the the link directly for those parts in the next video. Um, but they're also in the description of this video. So yeah, so the, the first upgrade we'll be doing is the Y axis. And then when I move to the X axis, uh, I'm gonna be changing the extruder and hot end carriage as well. Um, again, there's one made for this on Thingiverse and that's the one I'm going to use. That also changes from a Titan extruder, which is what I'm currently using, to um, an Aero, Titan Aero extruder. So that will be another little upgrade that we do. Um, so once I've done the X and Y, I would like to have a little look at trying to change the way that the Z axis currently works. Now. There's no problem with it at the moment. Um, the only thing I would probably change is to have the lead screws on the sides rather than the front and back. And that's not, I don't know of any structural reason to do that other than, and for me, it's just a convenience thing to get to the print. Because um, this will be having um, a wham bam flexible magnetic build plate on soon. So it's just gonna be easier to get to. Um, and what I'd like to do is perhaps integrate some smooth rods as well to have a really stiff um, supported bed. So that's another thing we're going to look at. Um, and I think really the only other thing that I want to do is have a look at um, potentially changing the firmware. Now I'm, re I'm happy with using the ramps board. Um, I currently use OptoPrint to sort of manage the printer, um, but there's a way of combining both of those and having 
um, Clipper, I think it's called. Um, and I've seen and watched a few videos about it. Chris Riley did one recently. Um, and I think that might be something I want to have a play around with. Um, basically just to off, so it will have more processing power because it will use the Pi rather than the the 8-bit processor on the ramps board, uh, on the Arduino board, sorry. So yeah, just, just a few upgrades that I got planned. Um, if there's any suggestions that you would like to see me try on the D-Bot, then please put them in the, the comment section below. Um, again, another thank you to um, CNA Mechanical Parts Store from AliExpress for the linear rails. There'll be a link in the description to their store as well. Um, and yeah, that's about it for now. So I'll catch you in the next video.